lot of customers wanted that familiarity, but they also wanted us to build on things that were really good out of our M3 series. So as you look around this machine, there's a lot of things that look like an M3 series because we pulled the best out of that and pulled the best out of Legacy. So as, as, um, as we have a new model, a lot of the customers ask, can I use my current work tools? Well, one of the things on the front, yes, this front bolster or plate on the front is the same bolt pattern, whether it was an H series, an M1, M2, M3 series. So their front lift group or their counterweight can be bolted up to this machine. As we go into, and again, this machine is equipped with all wheel drive. We also have still the rear tandem. And what we have built into our rear tandem in the front hubs is oil filled hubs. And what that does is extends your service life or service intervals to 2000 hours. Um, and it'll it easily able to just change out the oil when you need to be able to do any maintenance here. But again, this machine being equipped with an all wheel drive, this is the all wheel drive system off the M3 series. Two pumps, two motors. It also gives you the ability when you have that all wheel drive system on to turn the outside wheel and inside wheel at different speeds to be able to help pull that machine around. So that you're able to use the all wheel drive system and turn tighter than you would with previous generations of our machines. This all wheel drive, again, has creep mode only, so you can actually disengage the rear tandems and have the front wheels pull you along. So if you're doing a, a finish grade and you don't want the rear tandem scuffing up the product that you're putting down, you could just have the front wheels kind of pull you along uh, with up to zero to three, five miles an hour. You also have the ability to adjust the aggression in gears one through four to have your front wheels pull faster or turn faster than your rear tandems. So if you're in mud, you're in sand, and you want to help keep that front end of the machine up on the material, you can actually have it help pull you along rather than pushing the uh, front axle along. Uh, also, when you engage your all-wheel drive, obviously there's more parasitic loads on the engine, so we do increase the uh, horsepower of the engine to be able to compensate for those additional pump and oil, uh, pump and motor loads that you'd have on this machine. And as we continue along, you go into the drawbar circle moldboard area. Again, a lot of the legacy things that are built into all our motor graders, you look at a lot of these connections and you see, and you, um, what you'll see is wear material or a sacrificial piece of wear material. So what happens there is as things wear, you're wearing on an insert or you're wearing on a bushing or something like that. And when those get worn out, then you can easily replace those with a new and take it back to factory type. You don't have to worry about uh, cutting and welding on parent material. When you think of a motor grader, you think of precision and, and tightness. But when you think of what an operator does, they're making their control input right here to change the blade. But that goes down through goes through this connection right here and it goes through this connection here. So obviously if there's a lot of movement in those connections, when they make an input here, they expect the blade to move a certain amount and it doesn't move, they're able to take this back to tight and they're able to do it in the field. Because versus our standard drawbar circle mold board that we had previously on the H series and as an option on this one, you could save up to 45% in co costs and in maintenance over that. What they are able to do is with a 30 millimeter wrench, pull six plates along the top, go to the toolbox, take out a shim pack, put the certain number of shims in to take it back to flush or slightly under flush, and then tighten that back down. And that helps tighten up this connection between the drawbar uh, and the circle. And then also, there's also the ability, there's wear inserts here, but you can also adjust them. So you have the ability with a wrench and an Allen wrench to be able to vertically and horizontally tighten up on that slide rail on the back so you reduce moldboard chatter. Drawbar circle moldboard also has the ability to have the circle drive slip clutch. Again, standard built into the DNA of our machine. G, H's, M's all have that in there. And what it does is if operator acts, catches the corner of the blade or the end of the blade, on a manhole cover or on a rock that's not movable, it relieves the blade so it kind of collapses if they catch it on this side uh, without damaging the machine. So what you'll see on this machine, it is equipped with the CAT grade with cross slope, the automatic system. But it also features our new sensors. 
So we have a new EC520 main fall sensor here, and we have the GS520 sensor on the back torque tube. The great news is, is we have an old legacy sensor here, which was very good. It's sitting right back here. And this is what they look like. This was a liquid-filled sensor, and as you know, as you go over rough ground with the liquid-filled sensor, it would actually maybe add some inaccuracies to the system. These other ones are I these new sensors are IMU solid-state sensors. The other advantage is with this new location down here, you're able to actually get pitch of the blade as well as slope of the blade, where this system, this old sensor location was only slope of the blade. The other thing this next generation grade does, it's more plug and play with Earthworks when, that's, when that system comes available. So you're able to scale up a lot easier than maybe previously in the past. You get into the cab on this machine and it's built on legacy here. Customers are able to get in and operate this machine. Controls are all in the same locations they're used to on their old H series. Um, also what it does is it also incorporates the display out of the M3 so there is that uh, synergy or that ability for those operators coming out of an M series get into this machine and be able to navigate through the display easier than they uh, may have if it was a different display. We have different levels of cab trim, a couple different seats available, uh, and obviously controls that customer needs up to a base five if they're into snow wings and need plows and stuff on the front. The H series had air brakes on it. This machine has hydraulic brakes on it. The advantage to the hydraulic brakes is typically less maintenance over your air system because you don't have to deal with dryers freezing up and the air system freezing up. Plus it's just it's more of an odd I don't like to say it, but an automotive style feel to the brakes. It's predictable on what's going to do. The air system was great, worked many years for it, but now we've got the uh, hydraulic brakes throughout the line uh, in North America. And it has brake wear indicators, so you're able to know how much brake material you have left.